Hello and welcome to another Magnus and Scout video. In this video, I thought I'd give another insight into an average, ordinary, regular day with our two pups. So no fun adventures, just the average day of the week with the pups, what they get up to and what goes on and a basic time frame for the day. So hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching. The pups are sleeping downstairs these days. They were sleeping upstairs, but now they're sleeping downstairs. So first thing starts the day, we're basically saying hello to the pups and waking them up. Scout goes straight for the cheese bone. Magnus goes straight in for the cuddles and rubs. He does love a good cuddle rub, don't you Magnus? Best way to start the day is some cuddles and some rubs. Yep. So Magnus is super affectionate in the mornings. Doesn't whine or anything when we get up, just basically happy to see us and likes to get all his rubs and cuddles before he leaves the house. Don't you buddy? Scout is quite happy chewing on a cheese bone. Come on Scout, he's going to keep chewing a cheese bone. So as it's cold outside in the mornings now, we're back to putting coats on. We've got their medium level coats. So it's first the house collar, then we're Naked Time Magnus. And then on all of our, collar, our coats, we've got ones that are fleece lined. These are the light coats. We do have winter coats which are a bit heavier duty, but these are sort of our all-purpose coats. It's got a lot, nice lining and a slight degree of waterproofness. So very good coat, very all-purpose general coat there. Nice little Velcro strap. Yeah, like a good pet, don't you, Magnus? Good boy. And then we've got our Martindale collar, which again, just goes over the head. We've got a blue one now. We just have a brown collar. We've got some Kitsch collars. It's getting a bit smelly, so I had to get a new one for Magnus. You coming, Scout? You're still eating the cheese bone. You want to put it down? Come on, let's go. There you go, good girl. Let's get your shake. Get your collar on. Okay, when the pup's sleeping at night time, we take their collars off. Well, Scout's excited this morning. And we've got our new purple jacket for Scout from Kitsch Collars as well. Make jackets as well as collars, so there you go. And this one's waterproof, it's nice and warm, nice and snug. You ready to go walkie scout? All right, and then it's time to go walkies. The morning walks are generally about 15 to 20 minutes long. Just a little chance for them to stretch their legs, to use the bathroom and to do some business. Uh, the pups usually do about two bits of business per day. They're on the raw diet, so they do less poo than they would if they're on a dry food diet. It's getting dark in the mornings now, isn't it, Magnus? Yep, not so light. The pups are always super excited to go for their morning walk. Doesn't matter if the weather is bad, they'll still be happy to go. Let's wait to cross, Magnus. When we get home, the first thing we do is we wash the pups' feet. We have some warm water and some dog shampoo, which you use to clean their feet. When we lived in our old flat, we first got Magnus, we used to get a lot of cut, cut paws. So we started cleaning his feet regularly and making sure there was nothing in there. So it's a good way to keep the house clean. But also make sure the pups' feet are nice and clean and there's nothing in there causing them any discomfort. They're both very compliant with getting their feet washed and we'll lift the paws when necessary. Collar off and get your jacket off. After the pups have had their feet cleaned, they'll sit down for a few minutes because they know what's coming next. So next up is going to be basically breakfast. We feed Magnus and Scout separately for breakfast. They get chicken for the breakfast, a couple pieces of chicken thigh. Magnus gets a little bit protective of food when it's got bones inside, a little bit of resource guarding, so to stop any issues, we feed Magnus and Scouts separately for their morning breakfast. 
After that, it's time to basically sleep off that hard breakfast. We're working at home right now, so we're working in our home office, so when we're logging on, the pups are just starting to snooze after their breakfast. The food coma is going to start to kick in. Yep. Alright, so about an hour later or so, they're basically relocated to our hallway, getting a little bit hot in their beds. Moves to the hallway, nice little trip hazard there, Scout, right in the way. And Magnus trying to steal all the sun. Again, not long then, they've moved back again to the office. Scout's doing a little bit of cleaning. Magnus is still in the hallway, isn't he? Yep. Oh, here he comes now. Coming back to join the fun. Hey, buddy. Yep, that's a good boy. Always likes his pets, does old Magnus. Leave him lie there. Yep, that's good. Good boy. No, you can't have some of my jerky, Magnus. That's for me. Nope, I'm sorry. You need to give me those eyes. No, no, no begging. No, no jerky, I'm afraid. It's not for you. So it's 11.15 again. We're back down to some more lounging and some different spots. We'll spend the whole morning moving from different parts of the room or to the hallway and back. Switching beds, switching positions. And at lunchtime, it's time to go for... A little walk. You coming, Magnus? Yeah. Come on, Magnus. There you are. Alright, so again, from coma to awake, ready for some lunchtime walks. Our scout stops stealing the shoes. We're trying to get ready and just steal the shoes. Alright, and there she goes again. Another shoe. Good job, Scout. Alright, Magnus, we'll get your coat on while Scout's busy collecting the shoes. And yep, back on with the coats. We're going for a walk, that's right. And there go some more shoes. You are going to slow us down, Scout. We'll need those. You ready to go, aren't you, Magnus? Coming, Scout. You ready to go now? All the shoes have been collected. Yeah. Alright, let's get your coat on. Just straighten you up a little bit. We'll go collect our shoes now, Scout. You've left in the living room. Alright. You guys can wait here while we'll get our shoes back. Alright, let's go then. Let's take a walk. The great thing about working from home right now is we get to spend so much time with the dogs, so. For lunch we'll get a nice half hour, 40 minute walk with the pups at lunchtime. That's lots of time for sniffaries and to smell around and take some care of some more business.
So after we get home again, it's time for the coats off and time for some more washing of the old paws. It doesn't take too long to wash the paws, but it does make a big difference. Keeps your house a little bit cleaner and we'll always make sure the pups don't have anything in their paws that cause them any discomfort from the walk that they picked up along the way. So they're quite happy to get their feet washed, happy enough to lift up their legs for us when we do them. So they don't seem to mind either. I think they prefer having these paws that are clean. All right, Magnus, that's you for now. You can go away. Yeah, we'll see you in a bit, buddy. We'll get scared next. Oh, good girl. What's that? Good girl. So after I've washed their feet, the next fun task is to feed them their lunch. We were feeding them dinner in the evenings when we were working, but now they're working from home, we're feeding their main meal during the lunchtime break. Uh, so we've got a little stool set up, we've got our bowls, and we've got some natural instincts to put in there. We've got our lovely clientele waiting for their food. So they wait nice and patiently until it's ready, then the scout gets very vocal saying, hurry up. Why it's not ready? Yeah, you ready, Magnus? So we're currently feeding them some natural instincts uh, for their lunch. That gets also some veg in there as well. There's some carrots, a bit of ground up cabbage, different things we'll throw in there as well. You seem to enjoy it. Again, they eat their main meals together. There's no worry about Magnus resource guarding with the lunchtime food, just the things with bones in it, so we eat together for their lunchtime meal. After they finish that, Scout will clean her face, sometimes on her rug. Thanks for that, Scout. Magnus won't bother, he'll just have a lovely chicken moustache. After lunch, a little chance to play. You can attack that, Magnus, kill the giant caterpillar no one's watching you Magnus does get a little self-conscious when he realizes someone's watching him don't you Magnus I think someone's looking at you you're okay buddy After that, I've got another horror story for them. It's the teeth brushing. They're not the biggest fans of it, but they're fairly compliant. So we'll brush your teeth. We've got a little toothbrush here. We'll get in there and use our enzyme toothpaste to make sure they're all healthy. So after that, it's basically back to work after lunch. Yeah, you've had your lunch, Magnus. Go sit down. Right, you can leave my sandwich. That's for me. Thank you. Leave it. Good boy. So they'll have a little post-lunch snooze. Mine is getting just a little bit of rubbing before he lies down for the afternoon. And just like the morning, the pups will lie down in their beds, switching beds. Usually every half hour, every hour. You can fit in there, Magnus. Good boy. You did buy a large bed and a small bed, but they will take turns using either bed. And 2.30, the food coma has kicked in. Right, so it's 3.30 now. And again, we'll switch beds again. If the spot for a scout is Magnus in the same spot. Nope, he's moved as well. So it's 4 o'clock now. Pups are still out for the count. Yeah, so as five, we finish work, they'll then get up because they know it's going to be another walkies. So, yep, back on with the coats. So, we're currently walking the pups. 
for morning, then lunchtime, then sort of evening, and then late evening. And Scott will go out for a very last quick pee break before we go to bed. And because coat side back home with the coats. Yeah, we're going, Magnus. Magnus likes to do his extended jaw if he wants to go outside for a walk. Yeah, good boy. And with your car scout, good girl. So this evening walk will probably just going to be a short one, probably about 10 to 15 minutes. Just a chance, a little bit of exercise, a bit of stimulation, and a chance to use the bathroom. It's great where we live now, there's lots of green spaces to take pups, not just always on the streets like our old neighbourhood. So after that they'll basically lounge a little bit while we're just doing some work. Yeah, you guys taking it easy, nice little cleaning. Then I'll perhaps do some dishes and Magnus will be my sous chef or supervisor, I'm not sure which it is just yet. I think it's more supervisor. So you'll tend to hang out with me while I'm doing some dishes or prepping some off the dinner for us, Magnus. Then after that we used to do a bit of fun things with pups, so Magnus will make to do some of his toys with him. He likes his interactive food toys. He's quite good at solving them. Scout doesn't do quite so well and he gets a little bit more frustrated and just starts to whine. And this one just has food that we put under the little cups. Let's lift the lids off. And Scout, while Max was doing that, we're doing some firework training with Scout. Scout is a little bit apprehensive and scared of fireworks. So we're trying to desensitize her to the fireworks before the Guy Fox celebrations so she's not having quite as traumatic time as she had last year so what we're doing basically is playing the fireworks as loud as we can and then throwing treats at the same time so she associates the sound with good things we've also been doing it on our television as well and she seems to be doing quite well and a little bit less reactive to the fireworks but we'll see when those happen this evening after that it's a bit more lounging around while we're cooking our dinner Starting to get a bit sleepy for the evening, aren't you, Magnus? So once we've had a dinner, we'll get some more time to spend with the pups. Get to do some pets and rubs with the pups. Yeah, you do like your pets and rubs. Okay. You'll get some rubs too, Magnus. If you scratch his neck the right little bit here, you will get his leg to go. You look happy with yourself, Magnus. There's the paw of more. Come here, Paul, Magnus. Paul? Good boy. Good boy. Then around 7, 7.30, we will take the pups out for their last walk of the evening. This is just going to be a short five minute break just to go out and use the bathroom. So no need for coats because it won't be out very long. Isn't that right Magnus? Or hopefully not very long. Our Magnus is smelling every lamppost in the neighbourhood so we might be here a little while. But generally these are quite a short walk, just usually like five minutes, chance to use the bathroom. After that, collars come off and we'll take the house collars off as well. Except for Scout, she'll go out a little bit later on for one last break and then we'll take her collar off. That's you buddy, you can go lie down now. And then the pups will just settle in for the evening, we'll leave them be. Magnus will just be one one bed and Scout in the other and they'll just basically snooze and go to sleep. Unless we've got food going, or some snacks, and Magnus will get back up and investigate 
what's going on. Yep, you're busted, Magnus. You need to go back to bed. And that's pretty much an average day with our pups. Pretty laid back, just the usual things, some walks, lots and lots of sleeping. So hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.